Okay, here we have a problem posed by White Rose Maths. It's a Singapore bar modelling problem. And um, I thought it might be useful to post a video response to this to just to show how you might um, think it through. Because it's all very well looking at somebody else's solution. But um, you can be wondering, well, how did, how, actually, how did they get to think to draw it like that? Um, it is a challenging problem with a lot of information in it. So let's have a look. A farmer has 242 goats and sheep in total. He sells half of the goats and buys 28 more sheep. In the end, he has three times as many sheep as goats. And the question is, how many sheep did he have to start with? Now, I'm going to underline this because it's always very, very important to keep an eye on what the actual question is. With such a complicated problem, there's any number of questions we could ask or we could be asked. So after... Um, doing various calculations, it's um, sometimes easy to forget what actually you had to answer in the first place. OK, let's think about how we might approach this, especially if we were relatively new to using bar models. Well, um, often kids will start at the beginning. Um, here we have a farmer has 242 goats and sheep. Fantastic. Right. So I might then draw a model that's, you know, I've going to draw a bar model okay and it says in total 242 so this is going to be 242 fantastic okay and what is this this is um, goats and sheep great I'm I'm fairly happy with that okay let's have a look at the next bit he sells half of the goats and buys 28 more sheep ah okay I'm in a bit of trouble here because this is the goats and sheep together there's no indication as to how many of these are goats or sheep um, so I can't figure out how to mark it so that I'm getting rid of half of the goats and buying more sheep so this is clearly not going to work it's not going to help me and um, as is often actually the case with um, models like this it's easier to start with the end state and in fact I've got something has caught my attention here where it says in the end he has three times as many sheep as goats and this is definitely something I can draw so I'm going to model that I'm going to use one of these squares as my base unit um, this is going to be represent the number of goats I that he has in the end and if that's the number of goats let's draw the sheep one two three and this is actually that's terribly badly drawn okay so this representing the number of sheep in the end is three times greater than the goats so in the end he has three times as many sheep as goats fantastic okay let's see if we can populate this with some numbers well it said I had 242 goats and sheep in the beginning is this 242 well no because he sold half of the goats and buys 28 more sheep okay he sold half of the goats well this is the number of goats I have left so he must have sold this many goats does that make sense all right he had this number of goats in the beginning he sold half of them half a left great okay I'm now getting somewhere so he sold half of the goats so he got rid of that and he but he bought 28 more sheep okay um right let's uh, I'm just going to draw a line in here and so this is maybe the number of sheep that he had in the beginning and this is going to represent the 28 sheep that he bought okay so this is looking a little bit more promising now I've got some more information in it um what else do I need? How do I figure out what each of these blocks is worth? How can I do this? Well, I've got some information up here. He had 242 goats and sheep in total. Okay, normally I might do something like this to represent 
two so 242 is 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 that right does that represent this now this block and this block because that's what he had in the beginning and this and this and oh we've got a problem here I don't know what the value of this is I know this bit is 28 I don't know what the value of this is or this this or this or this how can I adjust my numbers so that I can figure out what each of these blocks is worth well this is the bit that's added 242 if I maybe change the color of my pen here I'm going to be adventurous there we go so 242 is this yellow bit okay do you agree all right 242 is this yellow bit but I would like to work out um, what all of this is worth and that clearly I need to add 28 to 242 so 242 and I need to add 28 and that gives me 270 so that means that this whole model is 270 so 270 is made up of one two three four five blocks five equal size blocks so if i divide 270 70 by 5 okay so 5 into um, 27 is 5 remainder 2 that's going to give me 54 so I now know that each of these blocks is worth 54 fantastic okay how does this help me let's go back we've done lots of calculations now let's go back and look at our original problem what we're being asked how many sheep did he have to start with okay this is the bit here that we need to know that's the bit in the sheep bit in yellow so 54 multiplied by 3 is that going to be my answer well not quite because i don't have the whole of this so what i could do is 54 times 2 plus 54 subtract 28 or 54 times 3 subtract 28 which is how we're going to do it so 54 times 3 gives me 162 so all of these three equal 162 but i have to take away the 28 so i've got 162 subtract 28 and and that gives me 134 so the final answer is so 134 sheep okay i hope that helps